I want to talk, I talk about a little bit about I think I think uh, correct me if I'm wrong in one of your lyrics or some of your lyrics like you might kind of just put out there like just life done you don't been through some shit in life and you might be a little depressed sometimes and that yeah. type of shit yeah, you know I'm what depressed saying? a lot you do be depressed a lot yeah wow. that's why I try I don't man sometimes I'll be lonely then I'll be like fuck that you hear me and then the next day I'll be I ain't where I want to be at in life the next day I'd be like, fuck it. You feel what me? What you doing? Comparing yourself. If, if you ain't where you want to be at, then that means you comparing yourself to something. I just be wanting more and more out of myself. You feel me? But you had, you got more than you had got them last yeah, year. Yeah, but right. I got a problem, like, I got a problem with being content. I, I I think when I was in school, I learned the word content, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They're like, content is where you ha when you happy where you at. Mm -hmm. Right. And so for some reason, that word is stuck with me. You feel me? Like, when I got my first car. While I'm getting the car and pull it off, I'm thinking about getting the new car, the next car. The you feel car. what I'm saying? I'm yeah. always, I, I got my gold plaque. I'm ready for a platinum plaque. You feel me? I'm mm. always, it's a, it's a, it's a blessing so why, and why? a curse. Yeah, because yeah, you knowing, go ahead, go ahead. you knowing this shit fuck with your mental though. Yeah. So this shit keep making you stressed. But it keep pushing me though. Uh huh. That's why I say it's a blessing, a curse. But you gotta know how to challenge. You gotta try to figure out how to challenge. I don't say know how because I go through the same shit, but you gotta yeah. figure out how to try to. Right. Balance Challenge that, that shit. Is yeah. it motivation some days and depression some days, or you think all oh, depression? Because some of it sound like motivation to me. It's always stress. Okay. But sometimes it's depression, and sometimes it's you know what I'm saying. Gotcha. Like, I'd be happy to do my thing, but I like as soon as I do what I said to do, I'm mm. ready to do something else. You feel what I'm saying? Mm. So. so let me ask, so let me ask you this: since we're talking about stress and depression and mental health and all of that, um, a while back you lost one of your very close friends, G Money. And when that happened to him, how did that affect your mental as well as how did that affect your music? Uh well I was in jail. I had been I had been down like probably a year and two months or something like that. Mm -hmm. At that point I didn't give a fuck about nothing. I'm like, man, I don't care about coming home. I don't care about music because yeah. music was always playing for me and him. Right, I, and right. I I never been that type of person. If, if, like if I set a goal with with this person, I'm never thinking about doing nothing myself. You feel me? So right. I don't, at that point, I ain't really know how to make a song without him. You feel what I'm saying? Mm. So did you have like a like a case of survivor's remorse? You think? I don't know. I don't really know the definition of that. Like, when, like did you feel guilty that it happened to him and, instead of you supposed to been there and it happened to both of y'all? Yeah, definitely. Uh, cause everybody who knew me, like we were like sun and night. You feel mm -hmm. me? He was the approachable person. I'm the one who I wouldn't even speak to nobody. Like, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? I was anti social motherfucker. But uh, how it happened with him leaving outside the studio, I, yeah. would, I would never let him go out of the studio by himself. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you had been there. Yeah, because we always be on each other's trail. You know how you got that partner. You mm -hmm. got to stay on like, point. He, he trying like, to dip off. Bitch, where you, where you going? You ever go grab me something, too? Or something. You know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. I'd be, I would have been on this trail. You feel me? Yeah. Basically, like you love She basically saying, like, you love him so much that you blame yourself. Like, I yeah. could have fixed it if I yeah. was there. And on top of that, he was he was still in the city because he was waiting on me. I was supposed to come home that week. Oh, mm. yeah, it's crazy. Damn. What you do? What you doing? Uh, to move forward, to stay out the bullshit, like moving forward, like to stay out of all bullshit, Man, like what you do? I just work, bro. I, and and I try I try not to get caught up in the. The social media, you know, every now and then we see something that pisses off and strike mm -hmm. a nerve, and, mm -hmm. and you know we'll give it a response, but and I'll be having to check myself, like man, I'm Facts. tripping. You feel Facts. me? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like that shit, it's really a trap. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Social media used to be fun at one point, but now it's it's to, it's a whole another level. You would know you what get saying? would you get off if you could? Like if it kind of your career, you kind of got like to a little bit. Like if you didn't have to promote bit. your albums or promote what you had going on, would you completely stay off of social media? Nah, <laughs> so you fuck with it. I ain't gonna bullshit you. Fuck you fuck nah. with it to nah, an extent. Entertainment, yeah, to an extent. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I just, I just feel like so many people got their own opinion these days. Yeah. It's just like, right? You know what I'm saying? It's just it's it's annoying. It's like people can lead your mind into to whatever they want it to into. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? By putting the bullshit up on your shit, and then you can act like I ain't studying that shit. But yeah, you see that shit, you study. It's just that. like people mm. with charges, right? People be forgetting innocent to proving guilty. You feel me? I, right. I, I hold it heavy because right. you never know what somebody, what yeah. situation really going on. Exactly. So as soon as something pop off, pop off. They didn't gave somebody the hammer already on the Fact. comments yeah. already. Fact. Like yeah. you know what I'm Fact. saying? Yeah. Then when it turn around. Everybody quiet, you feel me? Right. Yeah. yeah no facts. Yeah. Well, I, I mind my business, my you only live long. Mm. Facts. You ever had a day where you woke up and they was trying to cancel you? 
I wouldn't really say cancer. I don't know. I, 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 be, I don't know. I, I get hate every day, so I don't really be. <laughs> it really don't make me no difference. You feel me? Yeah. yeah. I didn't learn how to laugh at the stuff. You know. What so I mean? you said hate from like like people, just yeah, general g- people. General. Why you think it is? I don't know. Sometimes, a lot of times, it just be people want your reaction. You know what I'm saying? I done had a bunch of like, cause when I when I like when I first came home from jail and right before I had a phone before I came home from jail, so I used to, you know what I'm saying? Mind you, my partner died, so we got right. some real trollers on there. I ain't never right. been trolled like this before. Mm. You feel me? Right. Oh fuck no, bitch. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm <laughs> talking to him like, man, I'm just I'm I'm ten years old, bro. I just want to respond. You one of my favorite rappers. Mm. Like damn. <laughs> you feel me? So <laughs> it's just it was just different from me just trying to adapt to that. You feel mm-hmm. me? Yeah. What's the best and the worst thing that come with this rap shit? The best thing I can pay my bills. You know what I'm saying? I could, I could, I could put my voice on. You know, use my voice and go make some quick money. You feel what I'm saying? Uh, worse, um, the stress, uh, not finding genuine relationships, mm. stuff like that. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. Nah, for sure. You, uh, you stay in Miami now? Yeah. You like it? You you, you feeling the vibe? Well, that? legally, I'm still a Louisiana resident. Okay, gotcha. shout out to my PO. Okay, so you, <laughs> you, you, you kick it in Miami? Yeah, like. yeah, yeah, yeah. You work there I work, from I time work to there, time. Yeah, I got yeah. work pass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. What you like about Miami? Um, the scene. Nah, I actually went there because the the uh, production company I work outside of Dev Jam is based out there, so it's easy to pick up pick up my chicks mm. and pull up if I have a problem. Mm. Yeah, yeah I, I pull up so much they they went got a new office. I'm trying to find that one. You hear me? Back in the dough there. Yeah, you know, yeah. like I, you know, I had to learn the game. So, so like a lot of times, you know, I had to learn that flights come out my check, this come out my check. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. And you know, I I see oh, what the fuck is this? This ain't this ain't my show. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Pulling up. You know what I'm saying? Just just growing up. You yeah. feel me? Yeah. You got kid? Nah, not yet. Yeah, Do you girl. want some? Yeah, I love kids. I'm the perfect stepdad. <laughs> she said stepdad. Yeah, <laughs> you got stepdad. Oh, public service announcement. Yeah, they, you know they call they call me BMK. What they mean? Baby mama killer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right on funny man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I love kids though. Yeah, I love kids. You got a girl though? Nah. Any prospects? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Living life. I love the honesty. Nah, I, love the working, honesty bro. I, got, I be working so much, like, at, like, I be scared to put, like, get, even get in a relationship because I know what I put first. Mm. I work. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So I know I'm not going to give somebody at a time. Damn. Yeah. How, you, how, you, how you, like, uh, determine who you do music with? Like, is it is it just based off of who jamming or can it be, like, like if it's somebody who ain't rapping what they live in, or there's certain things that you like, I'm not gonna do music with them because no. of certain. I go, I go uh, off of the song. Mm-hmm. If I have something that's open that I feel like needs a little, um, I just think about who I can get in touch with mm-hmm. that can complement it. You feel what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But uh, so I mean, of course, if I can get a big feature, you know, I try to go through my, ca- my my opens and see if I can, you know what I'm saying. But mm-hmm. other than that, I go off the sound. Okay. You you'll catch somebody like two of my projects got two bounce rappers that you know are still you know local. You feel mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And Rod Four Nine, he an upcoming artist. He, he just had, he just had that big song with yeah. baby. You yeah, feel yeah, me? Rod but he's hard. I was yeah. I stamped song with him before he all the way got you know what I'm saying got this record. You mm-hmm. feel me? So who your who your dream feature like? Damn, I want to get a song for them. Uh, Drake, Future, Thug, Wayne, and Adam Levine. You feel like that? wow, that was a left, that was a curveball out of left yeah. field. That's mm-hmm. hard. Nah, cause I got all That's type hard. of music. I got, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. What's the best advice you got from like another artist or rapper in the game that might have chopped it up with you in the studio or on the phone or whatever? Uh, Gates told me one time. You can't help everybody. You gotta help yourself first. Mm. Yeah, mm. Uh, I'm, I'm, that lesson starting to apply right now. <laughs> you, feel you said me? right now. Yeah, it's just it's, it's that time. <laughs> well, I feel like a lot of people um they want to benefit off of your your work and your your blessings. You mm-hmm. feel me? And I'm a giving person, so it's mm. hard for me. To, it it been hard for me to say no. You know what I'm saying? Mm. But at some point, it's like 
when you get to going through your taxes and you, you got to see what you sent that person already. Talk about and, that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? 